Nikki, it was roughly a decade ago when I first met you on Gabriola. You were completely breathtaking. The sound of your laugh was like sunshine. It brought a smile to my face and it was contagious. I knew then and there you were unlike any person I'd ever met and you've held me utterly captivated ever since. We developed an immediate connection with one another. I felt it then and I still feel it now. Over the years, I was fortunate to get to know you better. I witnessed firsthand your unparalleled kindness. I saw the loyalty you have to your family. I noticed how you hold all forms of life in the highest regard. I quickly learned how bloody stubborn you are and recognized how sensitive you can be, yet possessing such a fierce inner strength that so many are either quick to discount or fail altogether to recognize. You truly are a wonderful person. You're wonderful all the way through. Years passed. My only opportunity to see you was on our annual summer trips to Gabriola, usually in celebration of Jeremy's birthday. Before each trip, I used to think to myself, I hope Nikki will be there. On occasion, you weren't, and I'd have to wait until the following year to see you again. You were a girl I saw only for a few days each year, and if you weren't on those trips, I was so disappointed. I remember reflecting on this after one of the trips. I left the island feeling devastated it wouldn't be in another year that I would get to see you next. It didn't make any sense, and it defied all logic. That's when it sunk in. I was in love with you. I spent a lot of time contemplating what marriage actually means to me and what makes it important and why it's necessary. For me, a marriage is a promise. And this wedding is a declaration. I promise to put us before me for as long as I draw breath. That is my promise to you. You are safe with me and you will be loved by me for the rest of my life. Nikki, I first met you on the silent. I fell in love with you on the silent. And today I am marrying you on the silent. And it is the proudest and happiest day of my life. I love you. Dear Jeff, I cannot believe how far we have come. And yet we are really still in the beginning of our life together. Although you will say that our relationship was the product of your careful planning and scheming, I need to voice that part of the reason we came together and worked so well is because we were ready. Jeff, I love you. I love that we can be so open with each other, that our conversations range from hobbies to work to life's deeper questions, and you always think my input is valid. I love hearing you make yourself laugh, which is usually a good hard cry laugh <laughs> that also gets me laughing, even from the opposite side of our home. I love the way you have become a part of my family and given me the opportunity to become a part of yours. I think we really truly understand how much they mean to both of us. And I love that you want to share your life with me. 
You want to make plans and set goals, but also you want to slow down and enjoy each moment and stage that we are in. Jeff, I choose you to be my husband, my partner in life. I promise to be your rock as you have been mine when everything else seems to shift and change. I promise to be an equal contributor in building our life together. I promise to be just as stubborn as the day you met me. <laughs> and I promise to honor, respect, cherish, and love you. You will forever be my favorite person. The man I can most rely on. The happiest part of my days. And the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs>